Hey guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic. So, as y'all come in that door, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And <clears throat> don't forget that everything that I say over here is alleged, it's in my opinion, and it's for entertainment purposes only. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about the ratings, you guys. So, I don't know if y'all saw my video from last week regarding the ratings, but I will go ahead and get you guys up to date on that. So so basically, last week, the ratings were uh, a season, but it was a, it was a low, all right, for the episode one premiering um, for all the seasons. This is season six. It was like the lowest ratings. So they had 288,000 people that watched uh, the season six, episode one premiere of Love and Marriage Huntsville, right? So y'all, let me tell y'all, the season before, it was like 459,000 people that watched it for episode one. So <clears throat> they lost a lot of people. Um, and that made me ask a couple of questions. I'm like, well, what, what is actually going on? So I said I was going to keep my eyes on the ratings. And for episode two... <clears throat> excuse me you guys I'm trying to come down with a little cold so pardon my voice today for episode two the ratings were 353,000 so they are up a little bit but not much y'all gotta remember this is owns number one show scripted or unscripted so the fact that their ratings are so low really 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 you know, it, it sparked an interest in me. I'm like, what is going on? This is the number one show on the network. Why are the, you know, the opening ratings so low? So um, I compared them to seasons before where, again, the audience was large. People were watching and I went ahead and took a poll based off of the temperature of my audience, the mic droppers, the people that, you know, leave comments and things like that. So basically what I said was, and you'll see that on the screen is why are the season six episode one ratings so low? And I gave them three reasons, right? The first reason was, uh, let's see, total cast <clears throat> toxic cast members and perceived bullying and harassing all right the second was the perceived fake storylines and fake millionaires the third reason was the millimeters are still blacking out so we have 461 people that voted and y'all 71 percent of the people thought that it was toxic cast members and perceived bullying and harassing 17% of the people thought the perceived fake storylines and fake millionaires. 12% of the people thought the millimeters are still blacking out. <clears throat> but when I went to look at the comment section, this is where it got interesting, y'all. I seen a lot of people that just said, can I choose all three? I probably should have made that part of the poll, all of the above. So a lot of the comments was like, can I choose all three? Is all three of them applied? Can I pick all three? I'm like, wow. Then one of the um, mic droppers said, I don't like the fake news they are providing in a world where all of our information is easy to research. In 2021, when my friend told me Marceau and Tisha are coming out with the wine, it made sense to her, but it did not make sense to me as a businesswoman who knows of a business owner in Illinois called Copper's Hawk that actually had a business. My thoughts were that they would be doing research and development that would have played out on the show. I immediately Googled the chocolate in a bottle company in 2021 and told her the owner was not even in the U.S. and just them putting a label on a bottle i sent her my snapshots in 2021 then comes martel and my thoughts were when i heard people running to order both marceau and martel is that what we have come to ordering something just because people playing in our faces then stormy who claims she has a warehouse okay again not making sense to me since i happen to have toured luster products and they have a whole team hr 
chemists they used to have a salon on site using their products the hr shared stormy does not move like she has a multi-million dollar business i watched monique from mill Mil I believe that's how it's pronounced humble beginnings her and her family attended my church and she just presented differently we see nothing new with maurice they should have all they should all have types of business credit with him being mr credit or is he really same outdated website so this was succeeding um into their this is their perception of the show so y'all i'm telling you they really 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 like i think they have an issue with where the show went okay that's the biggest problem so there were more comments but like i said some people said that they were still blacking out they said fake people i'm not watching that show anymore so then i went to twitter right because i'm looking up the the ratings for this year and i'm like what is going on what are the ratings for this year i went looked the first thing i seen was somebody's take a guy named carlos said listen my take why are the ratings so low one it needed to be paused after a toxic last season two it's not going off long enough for viewers to miss it three the show has run its course four mel and martel have zero rooting value five the show doesn't attract casual viewers six the ep is too bravo show focused y'all then somebody else said because it's not good anymore and the overinflated ego of the quote unquote stars facilitated by the ep it's unwatchable i stopped watching y'all a lot of the comments are saying the same thing people are feeling the same way a lot of their views are the same they are not feeling this show they're not feeling what it stands for and they they just not having it you know which is, is again it's interesting to me it's very interesting to me um i do know that i will say <clears throat> my opinion for season one episode um uh, season six episode one and two it is less heavy okay so it's less heavy i feel like the people um I, I don't know it just it was a different vibe i actually enjoy both episodes so you know it's weird because i you know try to tell you know the people that watch me the people that watch the gossip girls you know y'all go ahead and watch it but i think people are just so frustrated because the toxicity went on for so long and then you have people that aren't even on the show actually coming to YouTube and like stirring up drama. And it's weird. It's weird. It's weird to have a person that's supposed to be a quote unquote celebrity actually on YouTube talking nasty, being disgusting. And by this, I mean, um, Wanda, which is Letitia Scott's mother. It, she's a disgusting person. And the things that she say on her show are disgusting. She's actually like attempting to keep up beef between like YouTubers. Do y'all realize that YouTubers are the ones that actually promote the show? That that's the reason why people watch, even if they watch because they hate it, they watching period. You're getting a view. But when you start having the stars of the show start trying to get involved with what I would consider the media aspect of it, even if it's just the social media aspect of it, I think it's a turnoff because it's almost like you don't really know your place. You have Marceau that likes to get in the comments on social media and degrade African-American women, um, talk about their looks, talk nasty to them when they say things that he doesn't like. You're supposed to have thicker skin as a TV personality. Like, first of all, you shouldn't be reading all the comments. Let, let's just start there. I think that's the worst mistake that you could ever make. But let's go a little deeper into it. And when it's all said and done, the last thing that you want to do is get online and argue with the very fans that actually promote the show or actually you you know what i mean like they actually are supporting the show whether they are hating on you or not they are a viewer like that is a number that keeps you guys 
on the network that keeps the show greenlit. So when you have the actual, I've never seen a show and I've watched a lot of reality TV from Real Housewives, all of the Real Housewives just about to Love and Hip Hop. Like all of these shows have huge basketball wives. Like these shows have huge followings, right? These, um, you know, quote unquote celebrity reality stars. You don't see them in the comments arguing with the fans. Like that's weird. Like you have these people don't understand and nor do they appreciate the celebrity or the status that they should be at it's like you could take a person out the ghetto but you can't take the ghetto out the person and to me Marcel Scott and show enough Miss Wanda they are perfect examples of that like and I'm just keeping it real like I'm telling you, this woman actually argues with YouTubers. Who does that? It's so toxic. So if you can imagine the low vibrational and the low mindset of this person to come on and argue with the people that actually are promoting the show, because believe it or not, these videos that that's being put out again, whether you love them, whether you hate them, whether they talking good about you, bad about you, it doesn't matter. It's promoting the show it's advertisement it gets people curious to say oh I want to see about this this Wanda I want to see about this Marcel let me see how these people are and they go and they watch like let's keep it real y'all gotta learn the game you know and even if it's like you know you have a person on there that people really love and follow or whatever the case may be that's fine at the end of the day it's an ensemble it's the ensemble cast so it really does take everybody to make the show like melody is a huge part of the show because a lot of the fans are melometers but don't get it twisted a lot there's there are fans that watch the show that love to hate her too so it's a balance but when you start arguing with the very fans and the very media people that are are actually promoting your show you're doing yourself a disservice and it becomes weird it becomes in like an entanglement that's not needed and I mean again you got somebody that's not on the show that's actually stirring up drama for the show like what actually trying to pit youtubers against each other commentators that is freaking weird like go somewhere and sit on a fat one and like rotate as brown skin says like go away why are you doing that it makes no sense but that leads to the level of toxicity that this show kind of has it's almost like an evil spirit that you know you can't get rid of when it comes to this show and this cast you know it's on them it's on them like a like a demon or something you know I'm telling y'all, it's weird. It's weird as fuck. But when it's all said and done, you know, the YouTubers and the commentators are only doing their job. They're giving commentary and they're giving their opinion. And we're allowed to have our opinion. We don't have to like all the cast members, right? It's in, in all, and especially if you spout in facts, right? I'm spouting facts. So if I don't like you, I don't like you. It doesn't matter. But guess what? The same way you get advertisement again when somebody is a super fan of yours is the same way you get advertisement when somebody isn't a fan of yours. People still going to watch the show because they want to see what's going to happen next, period. But when you get if you stop the YouTubers and the people from talking about it, those ratings are going to go even lower. That's my opinion. All right. That's how I feel about it. <clears throat> So y'all, the ratings went up a tad bit. Maybe it looks like about 140,000 from last week. Not a whole lot. Um, they're not at their normal average, which is right around 450,000 to 480,000 per episode. They're not there. They're not there yet. And, you know, based on these comments, I don't know if they're going to get there. You know, yes, they made some changes, but I actually believe that 
some of these people that um, are on social media, especially these like really lower vibrational cast members, the ones that like to argue with YouTubers and stuff. I actually think that they should be banned from talking about the show because they are giving the show a bad name, a horrible name, a ghetto name, a toxic name. Like it's disgusting. It really is. <clears throat> but Again, that's neither here nor there. Y'all tell me what y'all think. What do y'all think episode three ratings are going to look like? Do y'all think they're going to consistently go up? I got I got hope that they will. Um, but there are some people that's just dead set on blacking out just because of how long things went on. Um, you're not going to be able to change their minds. But there may be other people that could be attracted to the show. But I don't know, you guys. Like, this is this is looking kind of bleak right now. Those ratings are looking not good. <clears throat> and that won't give way for another season. So they got to turn it up. They, and and really Carlos needs to get on his cast and be like yo you're supposed to be a quote unquote you know it may it may be like a d-rated celebrity and you may be a, a d-rated like like reality star celebrity but nonetheless you're a celebrity act like one act like one you're supposed to have rise above this bull crap you shouldn't be commenting and trying to start beef with people because of their opinion of you like that 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 is not the way it's supposed to go carlos needs to put them in media training if he wants this show to survive they need some type of media training and they need to stay the fuck off of youtube with the bull crap because that's not giving a good look to me either you know you see carlos on here he ain't in no mess carlos is doing his show he's doing his podcast he's interviewing his people and he's keeping it moving but when you got a cast member that's actually trying to get into the youtube mess with the youtubers nah that's that's actually that's absolutely disgusting and it's low brown so y'all jump down in the comments tell me what y'all think um you know let me know if y'all think this show is going to survive these ratings drops um don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. What's up with you?